Hey kids, you're about to listen to a comedy podcast. That means that none of this is medical advice. If you need medical advice or medical care, please contact your doctor. Grandpa, tell us the story of Thanksgiving 2022. Well, riff riff and jumble reads. That was some 20, 30 odd days ago. Back in those times, the Jack Jack podcast was breaking their usual format by having a Thanksgiving dinner episode. Yes. Dr. London Smith, com, the podcast host, was worried that there wouldn't be any vegetarian options, but producer Cameron couldn't help but be proud to show off his family recipe for person pie. Uh, so, producer Cameron, um, when, when you say it's your family's recipe... Sure. Your family isn't in the pie, right? I mean, there's elements of everyone's family and the food they make, right? You pour love into your food and love was poured into you. Yeah, it's just, so when we eat it, though, are we ingesting like human flesh? I, it, no, 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 no. I don't want to sound crass. Hairs, fingernails, uh, just chippings, tooth chippings. Okay, yeah, yeah, your family's famous tooth chip. And okay, that, that does stack up. Um, well, this is, A, it's an immunity thing. You're a doctor. You should know this. Yes. But eating things like fingernails, hairs, tooth chippings, that ups your immune system. That's why we're all so healthy in my family. That's why we don't go to doctors generally. Yeah. Except, yeah, for, for work and for the but Yeah, this is our famous person pie, uh, and it is pumpkin flavored. There is no pumpkin in this. Just by the way, we do have a few family members that are sort of morally against that. Okay, they're going to say allergic, but just it's morals. There are a few members of the family who have seen living beings with a pumpkin for a head in movies or cartoons and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so they see carving a pumpkin as sort of a grotesque act. Sure, okay. They're like, that's the, that's the head of a headless horseman kind of figure or something. Okay. Yeah, so some, some, some people are against the, the sort of satanic thing, but for them, it's a headless horseman situation. Yeah, or just some sort of depiction of something I can't remember specific of a, like a pumpkin on a guy's head or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you know, I guess that, that's, that's the holidays for your family. Anyway, so who, who all do you have on the guest list? Ooh, we do not do guest lists anymore. Okay. Is it because of me or is it? Well, yeah. If it is partial, because last year when you got the guest list, that guest list suddenly became on your email newsletter. And your email okay, yeah. newsletter is highly offensive. You also send 30, 40 emails a day. Right. Which, which, which part of that is a problem? The amount? It's filling up the space in their inboxes too aggressively because, you're, I mean, you're sending like one, two gig files. Yeah. It's a, it's a one, two gig. Like that, that was my my whole thing my my bit it's just we we're doing better without a, a guest list sure. this year. but we, we should have someone coming okay. here pretty soon okay well um yeah i guess uh we're, i guess I'm, I'm gonna start setting this food up well like we have finger food at least for now uh to keep everyone from getting too hangry um do you want to and those are fingernail <laughs> foods but yes yeah okay no good good um that's that's great uh, let's see. Yeah, the cheese was brownies. Okay, do you want to? Um, I do hear someone at the door. Do you want to go? Oh, look who it is, Pastor Garibaldi. Good evening. Good Thanksgiving. I'm giving thanks for being here back at my favorite dinner table from my favorite podcast. Have you been sowing the seeds of dinner, Cameron? Have you sown the seeds of dinner? I, yeah, I've been. I mean, I've been burying the scraps of my dinner every night. Is that? Yeah. Yes. Yes, now it's time to reap. Reap, we have sown, reap dinner, and thanks, and uh, tithing first. You must tithe to the pastor first. That's the most important seed to make sure you're saved and make sure dinner is delicious. May I enter? You, you, you oh. Come on in. Come in. in. Uh, Grandma. Excellent. Hey, hey, like hey, a hey. vampire, a pastor must be invited. A pastor must be invited in the house, or I cannot come inside. Please, come in. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Grandma, Doctor. It's it's Pastor Garibaldi. Not the Baldi. Yeah. His, it's Garibaldi. 
Full head of hair. Blessed I am to have a full head of hair. Blessed from below. Lucifer the light bringer brings hair up from hell. He's planted on my head. These seeds have grown. Do I smell mashed potatoes? I, I no. There's no way. I swear I smell mashed potatoes. No, absolutely not. I I would be really shocked if anyone brought mashed potatoes. But uh, real quick though, I just. In terms of reaping what I was sowing and I was sowing scraps of my food, I would really recommend not reaping those because I did dig up a few of those scraps the other day and they were not, they don't, they're not, they don't taste good anymore. The only gain of an early harvest is rotten fruit, Brother Cameron. Oh. You must, there is a time for sowing, a time for reaping, and a time for offering your guests perhaps wine or some kind of beverage. Oh, yeah. Uh, Are you hinting at something? There's no hint, brother doctor. Only the truth, which is I am thirsty. I walked 40 miles from house to house. Right. You're the first one who invited me inside. We've uh, I f- we've I only got your commuting strategy. We've only got Grandpa Chippy's moonshine. Is that delicious? I'll take some. Oh yeah, sure. If it's delicious to you, here you go. It only comes in a gallon. <clears throat> yep, yep. Here we go. And only in gallon servings. Yeah. Oh, I really wouldn't chug that. Oh. I really no, no. You need to put that. Oh boy. Uh, yes, okay. yes. The spirit is upon me now, Doctor London. The spirit I, is upon it, me that's now. That's not the spirit. That's assuredly not the, the spirit. spirits are upon me now. Doctor London, have poison control on speed dial if you could. Just there is I, no such thing as poison control. Poison is out of control. Poison yeah. comes from the darkness above. It's fixed by the light below. You must plant the seed. I'm gonna go read some of those magazines. Do I Thank see you. magazines in the corner, brother? doctor yes we've been putting those out and we're really excited about a new publication uh yeah go, go have a read mm-hmm. i hope there's puzzles and inside the, I like it. make puzzles. sure you check out the movie review section you might see a, a, a movie critic that you might be familiar with i hope they review scrooge they re- we reviewed scrooge that's so good <laughs> remarkably convenient i just i've okay. been binging the movies lately and i just got up to scrooged <laughs> yeah uh, McDuck or the other one? Oh, I think I've gotten. I think I've made a huge mistake, actually. Okay. Anyway, anyway, uh, I think someone yeah, else is coming to the door. Doctor Lennon, can you go open it? Yeah. Let me. How do you How do you do the knob? Uh, how do you open? You gotta ask it. Okay. Uh, would Would you op- Would open? Would you? A little more. A little more confidence, please. Uh, open. It has to respect you. O- open door? No, don't ask it as a question. Sort of as a statement question. Open door. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well. Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm hey. Lisa. Nice to meet you in person. Thank you so much for yeah. having me tonight. Um, in per- so is, am I, who are you meeting in person? Like, just to get specifically. Dr. London, sorry, sorry about this. Lisa, the, from the Craigslist ad. Yeah, okay, I was yeah, the yeah. one. I was the one that said I needed a place to um, get some training in for the food contest I'm participating in. Okay, and you're you're Lisa A, right? Because there is a Lisa B or C who also s- sent a request for to prepare for food eating contest. But I'm I don't Lisa, know if Lisa A. I'm Lisa, Lisa a. Okay, Antonelli. Great. Yes. Okay. Hi. Well, Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm uh, doc- also just a little disclaimer. I'm under the weather. I know that's kind of rude to go into a home sick these days, but I oh, no, I just thought a- it was a little more polite if I told you I was sick. Uh, our family has a high immunity because we eat person pie. Are you familiar? No, I'm not. You think I should be with all the eating contests I'm doing. Oh, maybe you can eat a bunch of these later because usually there is quite a bit left over. Dr. London, I, just to explain a little bit, I... so. W- have you ever used Eater? It's like it's like an Airbnb, but for renting out a space that someone can use to prepare for food eating contests. I I had not. I okay. I knew you, you told me you had this new app that you were really excited about. Yeah. It's not and, my app, but I am sort of an influencer on there for sure. But yeah, we rent out a space, and you know we don't take holidays off. Yeah, okay. and we, and it's just a really great great resource if you're doing food eating contests. Yeah. Yeah. Great for networking too with other people in the community. Yes. Yes. It's it's one of these things you have to know people to make it in that industry. Oh yeah. It's all about who you know. <laughs> yeah, I'd run out of food. I did bring food. I did bring something with me. Just to Ooh. just because Twizzler I don't soup? like to 
enter anywhere empty handed. Mm -hmm. um, Twizzler soup. Is that what you thought this was? Yes. 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 Well, it's um, what, is it's it not? just a sushi roll. Okay. I know. I get those confused all the time. Mm -hmm. And you're more than welcome to have it. I'll put it on the, oh, the one. Yeah, I'll put it on the okay. table. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad. Thanks. That's you're welcome. Um. So we have cheese whiz brownies and the the one sushi roll. Are you guys okay if I just start digging in? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, you. I know we haven't done grace or anything, but do you mind if I just don't even mind me? I'm just going to be eating. Yeah, for sure. And you wanted the the gluten free options, right? Because we do have this entire section over here. Thank you. And I'm vegan. Yes. Gluten free. And I'm allergic vegan, to dairy. And also has to be 35,000 calories for you to be able to train properly. And we found it all. Thank you so much. That's crazy. It's so weird because Cameron insisted he wouldn't do anything for this meal. And then yesterday he got really excited. Well, again, I'm an influencer on Eater. I have to keep my rating high. So yeah, I'm going to care a little bit more about that than I am about the meal. This isn't even your family dinner, Dr. London. You're a guest here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... You're a guest and you also invested $3,000. Yeah. In, in the meal. Oh my gosh. You invested 3000 in the meal. He planted 3000 seeds. We're going to reap the harvest of the seeds. Oh, hi. I'm so sorry. I didn't even say hi. I'm Lisa. Oh, hey, I'm over here in the corner. I'm reading the magazines. Nice to meet you, brother, sister eater. Sister Eater, Hi. my name is Gravella Garibaldi. I'm a preacher, not a vampire. What is it, Brigella Veravelli? That's close enough, sister, yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to Don't meet you. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be gobbling away. Gobble, gobble. No, that Pastor, sounds great. Do you, oh. Brother Cameron, <laughs> I'm out of moonshine. Oh, you want another gallon? Okay. Mm-hmm. Here you go. So one thing, one thing to know you. about that... That moonshine is, it's made with a wood stove. Like it's, there's a potential for it to be methanol instead of ethanol. So it could cause blindness. So just bear that in mind and know that you're actually going to have to follow it up with a lot of ethanol for a quick fix to not cause blindness. Yeah, just to sort of even it out. I have yeah. two barrels of meth ethanol buried in the backyard. I, I plant yeah. those seeds. I, I, I will harvest quickly. Yeah. Pastor Garibaldi is, I mean... I know the food eating stuff is sort of the sin of gluttony. I mean, it, it, you're not going to like chastise us about this. Gluttony is a gift. Gluttony is a yes. golden gift from the God below. Okay, then what is, so, so Lisa's this finger looking good. I'm seeing a, a, a spray of food. Impressive. It's, it's hard to mm. see what's being eaten even at this point. These berries. What did you put in the berries? Is it? Did, Cameron, did you go berry gathering? I know I put a lot of money into it. I mean, yeah, I went out back, and then there, what? Well, there's sort of, uh, I mean, it's like it's a ditch basically, and the ditch collects a lot of debris, and then if you you can kind of mold that into these little shapes, and then you just sort of freeze them, they they you know they're Cameron berries essentially. Oh, oh, so the berries are from the ditch in the backyard that that has debris in it. Yeah, they are just, the debris. Yeah, it, it is the debris. It's just it's frozen dirt debris. And, Whoa. And, you know, rocks and Whoa, yeah. Moisture. No wonder you're saying you guys don't get sick. Soil eating dirt, am I right? It helps you build up the immunity. We also do full looping, which is when you drink all the urine coming out of your body, and this is a real thing you can look up. And uh, that's that's just everything you consume. It's just a constant loop, like in a water world, and that cures everything: wow. headaches, cancer. There's, there's a Facebook group dedicated to this. And Pastor Garibaldi, is your the, the I mean, is the God below okay with my my piss drinking? He finds it icky, but he refuses to forbid it. Okay, great, great. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just. Sneezed over. Bless you, bless you, bless you, sister. Eat. Don't eat the. Don't eat any of the carrots because I just sneezed okay, on them. Okay, well, just. I cast judgment upon your sickness. We take the sickness from you. May the God below reduce <coughs> the sickness out of your Thank body. You. Transfer it to the carrots where the carrots may be sick. Okay, so so we have uh, a ham that has been clearly dropped, rolled past the ditch, was picked up by uh, someone. Uh, was it a wolf? A coyote. Coyote. Okay, so this is going to be a dirty ham. 
Very, yeah, really dirty, muddy. Partially mm. eaten by a coyote, uh-huh. carried around, um, mm. and then a, uh, some birds took it from the coyote, uh, carried it off, and so it's also got a lot of sticks and brambles in it. Well, feathers, um, too, yeah, because the bird. Fe- yes. What if I order Boston Market? They're o- I don't think they're open today. That's a good what if game, I guess. I don't know. What yeah. do you... Oh, it, what, hey, what if point? aliens came and, and had Thanksgiving with us? That's pretty cool to think about. That'd be crazy. What if they did? Wouldn't That'd that be, be crazy? <laughs> this, is a, this is a fun game, yeah. What if I won the eating contest Gobble Gobble next year? 2024. Yeah. <laughs> I think it will happen. I think it will happen. Well, that's... We are sowing the seeds of victory. I think that's the most likely one. Lisa, how's your... How are you on the ranking? I haven't... Um, I haven't qualified yet to do a competition. So this is me training for the 2024 gobble gobble. Okay. She could get first place right away. First place. We want first place for sister eater. (laughs) Lots. I've got two years of training here. Um, Yeah. So um, what, when you say qualify, because, and this is just me, I'm just a medical doctor. So I don't know all this stuff. Uh, But my understanding was that you just sort of apply to, like it's more of a show for a lot of people and you just say you want to say eat a lot of hot dogs and there aren't a lot of people saying like well are you good enough at it it's dr london no no there's a there's a written exam first what if we did a a practice exam that would be great yeah okay well just okay you have I'm, oh you brought copies okay yeah thank you <laughs> okay let me uh Oh, so these are a lot harder than I, I Just thought. Just read it to me and we'll see if I get it right, the first okay, one. Okay, okay. When eating a hot dog, what goes first? Drink water? Dump it in the water? Throw the water away? Go distill your own water? Or give up, go home, because you're not going to qualify this year? And this is a trick question, isn't it? It sounds uh, like it. Sounds like it. Well, I'll, I'll admit that a lot. Of, well, I guess answer, but the markings for what's correct are something to discern. Yeah, a lot of these questions seem very almost subjective. I mean, this one says explain the movie Tenet, and I, I feel like a lot of people were going to say probably different things. Yeah, and for me, I haven't even seen it. Oh, and it, okay. you could probably Ooh. just write down whatever because everyone's just kind of making up what they think it happened. But if you time. haven't seen it. And you say movie I haven't seen, and the answer is correct. They can't tell you that's wrong. To you, okay. it's a movie you haven't seen. That is your opinion. Uh, okay. It is an opinion question, so it does Amen. seem like it would be correct regardless. Okay, Amen. it's in it. Yeah. See, so you you understand that you get it now. Why these questions like to pass is tough. Yeah, it almost seems like these are all trick questions, and the goal is for you to trick them. Is that what you think it is? I think so. Like I think what Pastor. Garibaldi suggested makes a lot of sense because it's like a it's like a gotcha. It's like oh, haven't seen it, so you I have to be qualified. So you think every answer I should just be like gotcha? Yes. Well, and see what I, they I, have do. A, I have sort of a counter opinion on this. Um, given that you, whenever we you said quiz me and we asked you the questions and you just asked about the questions, what I'm thinking is that maybe you haven't finished one of these tests before that you just asked questions right back to the te- like it or did you, I, did you I, answer the right. first one with give up and go home and then that was the <laughs> end of the the test for you oh this is just the practice one these aren't the real answer these aren't the real questions every well, you, time i go it's different this is the practice one that we can practice okay. with well i get there and the questions are like what's 42 times 7 if george okay. has 700 hot dogs and he eats four of them, how many hot dogs are left? And it's all those types guess. of questions. They don't even do that on the practice. They don't even put those on the practice ones. It, it does seem weird, because normally for an exam, it would be helping to prepare you for the role that you're going to have. And so for that, you just need to know how many hot dogs. Yeah, they it's, do it's all a, those They do all those word problem questions. questions. Well, all over the place. you got to yeah. bring your own hot dogs to a lot of these places. So you gotta, you got to be able to do the math at the store to figure out how many packages you're getting. So it is very important. <clears throat> they don't want any liars. They don't want you being like, oh, I only brought four hot dogs and I eat all four. You know what I mean? Like they want honesty. 
Are we having hot dogs tonight? Are we? Let me check. Vegetarian? Okay. Um, let me, I'm gonna have to. It's, there, there's a lot of fire, as you can see, coming from the kitchen, and we have a, Cameron's family has a strict no fire extinguisher policy. Well, we also have a no fire policy, so you wouldn't need a fire extinguisher, but clearly someone's breaking the rules right now. Okay. It is uh, very no, dark in here, brother doctor. Yeah, okay, well, that's, that's it. I, the, the, the moonshine is hitting kind of hard. Okay, um, I get, where did you say the, the your ethanol, the, the vodka was buried? In the backyard in two giant barrels labeled seed. Okay, I'm going to go pick up the food real quick, as well as your cure. Uh, thank you, brother doctor. I'm going to pray and see if that cures it instead. I'm going to um, kind of just like eye this food right here. Study it. I understand. You're coming at it from an intellectual place. Because to pass yeah. these tests, you, you, you can't just see it as food. Oh, this is an object that I eat. <laughs> turns into energy no you know what thank you so much for understanding i tell people i'm going to study the food and i get so many looks that's why i'm not at my own family's thanksgiving tonight uh, they didn't want me there yeah because it's a it's a lot i get it it's a lot for me to say i'm gonna i need a practice test about food i need to look at the food some people say i have an eating disorder not a healthy relationship with food because of I, all this yeah i really don't see that i mean it's a game you're you've cr Turned food into a game where you continuously gorge yourself. I feel like that's oh, okay. Here that's it is. Fun. Yeah, it's fun. People are doing things. Thank you. Just wear Thank the you. sausage links. Oh boy! Just, just strap them on, and they because they want to eat them. Oh, they're not for. Uh, they're good. They're gonna want to eat them. Okay, they, they're technically vegetarian if you want to call it that. Good. Okay, but no cheese. Um, I can't have cheese. I. So, Not good so, for. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Well, got the bottles here, uh, Pastor. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'm I, gonna I pour them guarantee... directly on my optic nerves. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the methodology. Oh, there you know, you go. I'll admit, ah, I've studied ah, this, ah, but I. Ah, I was blind, but now I see. Praise the God below, my eyesight is restored. Wait, you really uh, did go blind? You just didn't mention it. I mentioned it. It was subtle. The doctor brother picked up on it, and he went and got the other. No, I fixed my eyesight. Thanks to the Lord below. Lucifer, the light bringer, brought light back to my eyes. Now I can see these delicious, technically vegetarian hot dogs. And this this food is worth studying. It's all beautiful here in the house. Thank you. Blessed be. I don't understand the logistics of your... Because you, you know, your boss mm -hmm. is... Satan. That's right. The yeah. light bringer. But... He wouldn't he kind of like want people to be blind and like ha like constantly bump into tables. Brother and Cameron, stuff? it's like you weren't listening the last time I was on the show. Almost. No, I mean I listen, I remember, but it's just like, well, just like he I don't brings know. gifts from below. You you plant the seeds in the earth; they go down to hell and come back up as gifts. Gifts in the form of money, especially if you give your seeds to me for me to plant. I'll provide a small fee. I'll do the planting for you. It's a service I provide in the name of the Lord below. Okay. So I mean, that does sound I, like I, a I don't want service. It, it, so I do have these sausage links that I'm wearing. Um, technically vegetarian. They're, they're, te they're technically not meat was the way she phrased it. So I like, I know that they're... <laughs> I got it. I'm I'm suspecting a similar something similar to a person pie situation. But um, she said I wasn't allowed to take it off. But I, it's draping on my sleeves here. So if you, I know I don't know if this is like the contest. So I don't know if it's good training for you, Lisa. But you you can eat off my sleeve. Is really kind of the situation here. Okay, and just hold still. Okay. I, I'll I'll try. Do you mind holding still while I do this? Well, okay, it's okay. I, and now the key to the contest is I have to be fast. So um, would you mind setting a timer? Uh, well, I can't be still and hold a timer. Um, can you just count? Yeah, can you just count? One. Ow! Okay. If you're a vegetarian, you can't cheat by hand. She's kind of just gnawing on your hand now. She's not even... Incredible gnawing <laughs> powers. I know. What's How that? did I do? Just, How did I do? So, I... How many seconds was that? I feel like you're not a strict veg. It was nine seconds, and you don't seem like a very strict vegetarian. Did I eat meat? I just, just my, like. Yeah, I think instead of eating the possibly vegetarian sausages, you were maybe gnawing on Dr. London's 
hand, I, I would say, wrist, arm. You know what? You know what? I just lose. It's like I'm in this meditation and I don't even know what's going on. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. I, that's not the first time I'm going to pour some of this ethanol hand. on the hand. It's, it's, it is blessed, blessed ethanol. Oh, I don't know if you need Let's to see do. if it oh, works. Uh, okay, no. So, so nerves and blood vessels don't like. Okay. Let's see. I go, okay. Of- okay. Uh, there we go. It should grow back any second. I ask the Lord below to bring the light of blood vessels back into Dr. London's gnawed up hand. Blessings upon the hand. Judgment upon okay. the bites. Judgment upon the gnawing. Blessed be the hand. We'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. <laughs> this might be a good chance since we're since we're sort of in a praying mood, but to, to actually, you know, say thanks. Because we're all here. We're all clearly kind of eating already. Oh, sure. Yeah, I, lo- I love giving thanks. Okay. Um, you, might, you mind if I go first? Well, yeah, please, Dr. Yeah. London. I was just like, I don't know, today really, you know, th- despite all the little confusion, whatever, and meeting someone new, like, it's, it is a good time to just be together for the holidays. So, I guess one of the things I'm really thankful for is genetic testing. Um, you know, the... There, there are all these diseases you can get. Yeah. W- one of which would be multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2B. <laughs> Judgment uh, upon multiple endocrine neoplasia mm-hmm. type B. Judgment right. upon it. And it's it's more commonly abbreviated to MEN type 2B or just MEN 2B or even MMMP, which is an acronym for the four tumors it causes. Uh, it's part of a group of similar disorders of the endocrine system, which is the system dealing with hormones. It's really helpful when something has three different acronyms to choose from. Mm-hmm. It really helps you remember remember yeah. it just by this thing has like four, five, six different acronyms. Yeah. The best thing in medicine is how so many names are given to one thing. And mm-hmm. and they're all unique and never mm-hmm. also apply to something yeah. else. Uh, l- like other MEN syndromes, MEN2B has autosomal dominant inheritance with incomplete penetrance. And those who develop the condition have a propensity to develop multiple endocrine tumors, hence the name multiple endocrine neoplasia with neo meaning new and plasia meaning growth um in men2b specifically you remember what i said mmmp which is so it's three m's kind of like mbop except instead of a bop it's just a p oh no judgment upon the handsome brothers so so these letters stand for mucosal neuromas which occur in the nasopharynx uh and the oropharynx larynx and conjunctiva um, medullary thyroid carcinoma uh, a marfanoid body habitus, which is like a long, lanky body, and a phaochromocytoma that starts with a P. So that's this is the what MMMP. you're thankful for. This is uh, what you're. Yeah, just a genetic testing to 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 know whether you have this, because I have something similar to a marfanoid body habitus. You know, I have, okay. I, but I don't have the the rest. Of, uh, I don't think I have this. So I'm I'm really thankful that. And I don't this have isn't it. an attempt at plugging the medical test you've been tinkering with you say you've invented a whole new method of testing it's it's not i wouldn't i wouldn't like say things are not things i don't like to speak in absolutes like that but um uh-huh. you know but, but patients with men2b usually have a mutation in the ret gene so being able to test for that genetic marker is important uh and i'm really thankful to be able to do that but even after testing is done for that mutation men2b uh the patient should regularly be screened for the hormones associated with the tumors because they are at increased likelihood of developing them. Uh, and they should have imaging done as needed to monitor the new tumor growth. Judgment upon imaging. Yeah, so, so treatment should follow the course of testing with medical or surgical interventions as necessary for the growths. And that's what I'm thankful for. And this is, those additional tests, you're doing it from home from a product that they order from you that you've invented, right, Dr. London? Is that what this is well, all ju- about? <laughs> Just like, so, so we're going to add in post. We're going to add the sponsorships here. Like that's where, this is where the ad's going to go. Uh huh. So like, if I repeat it now, it's going to, it can mess with Blessed be post-production. Blessed be DJ Dylan. Yes. Speaking of which, I don't know that we've mentioned him so far here. DJ Dylan's been playing in the corner the whole time. Yes. Hey. Wow. Can, can I say what I'm grateful for? Please. Ooh. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, oh, you were doing a bit. You want to, are we are we doing that? Are we going around and saying what we're grateful for? Yes, yes, sorry, sorry. 
Okay. No, no, no. Honestly. That's usually how I answer that question. It's just today is a, a different type of day. I was going to say that I'm grateful for you all for <gasps> having me here, but I changed my answer when I was listening to this <laughs> doctor. And I too am grateful for MEN2B and mucosal neuromas. Okay. I, I feel like I, I maybe delivered that wrong my my thankfulness sentiment wrong so i'm it's more the testing for so you like you like mucosal neuromas did i get that wrong little, little tumors things in your did nose did i not hear what you said correctly because you made it seem like yes and i'm really grateful for that men to be mucosal neuromas yeah, uh, does it cost money guess, do i have to pay like do i have to pay for those yeah do we have to pay for them uh I like to get tested. If you if you have the genetic mutation, then it's no charge. Oh, nice. Um, but you, I I would say like it's better not to have it. But you you cool. either have it or you don't. Cool. It's kind of kind of like just talents. That's yeah, cool. you know, yeah. or just being cool. It's it's a little like the, I well I've seen whatever uh, family matter. I've seen Steve Urkel can can make the transformation. So I, it's been proven that you can right. make that transformation. And does Stefan, yeah. And, Stefan, Stefan mm-hmm. is so cool. Blessings upon Stefan. Yeah. So like Messenger of the Lord below. Urkel and Stefan, are these your friends that I don't know? I wouldn't uh, call them not- friends. <laughs> I would say... The- Steven Urkel is the breakaway character. The breakaway character of Family Matters, a spinoff of Perfect Strangers, a 1980s sitcom about a man and his cousin from Greece. Yes, there was a neighbor named Urkel, Stephen Urkel. He was very dorky, but he became, he kind of took over the show, and he would mutate into various things. He had a little box where he could turn into Stefan. Stefan was cooler than Stephen Urkel. There was also Robo Urkel. There, there was a robot Urkel, judgment upon evil robot Urkel. Wow. Blessings upon Stefan. You know what? I'm a boomer. I don't know what you millennials do because that's crazy. Yeah, it's a crazy show. But so Stefan is working for the the devil, is what you're saying? Yes. Yes. I guess it makes sense. Planting the seeds. Planting the seeds. He reaping the harvest. He got to have sex with Laura. He got to have sex with Laura. Oh, Stefan got to doink. He got to doink. Stephen had uh, had the, the the weird girlfriend, the the, the the nerdy lady who was very controlling, misogynist show, <laughs> judgment upon the misogyny of family matters, okay. judgment upon so, it. And, uh, just to add one little bit to it. So his favorite catchphrase was, um, did I do that? Uh, but it would change after he transformed into someone cooler. So that's 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 the full thing for you boomers out there. He'd say, "Did I do that?" <laughs> Cooper, <laughs> you know. Oh God, you young kids. Yeah, just just so you're caught up. Um, what is what is what is Brother Cameron thankful for? Oh wow. Uh, what am I thankful for? <clears throat> I am thankful for this house that we're having this meal in because this house has actually been through a lot i mean i know i tried to be cool earlier and said that we don't ever have fire in this house but that fire over there that y'all are are seeing has actually never stopped it's been going my entire life i thought i thought that was coming out of a fireplace no Mm -hmm. no that is very, very nice that you would say it's, that. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a fireplace, like, technically, It's right? a place for the fire. It has now become... that. It the, claimed it. That second half of the house has been on fire for decades now, and it's sort of a family tradition. And I'm embarrassed by the eternal it, flame. trying to actually be a little more confident. It keeps it toasty. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's excruciatingly hot in here for sure. And that's mm-hmm. just something that's really, really fun for my family. And you're breathing in a lot of smoke, smoke a lot of the time. Uh-huh. And, and uh, that's fine from a medical standpoint, Dr. London, right? Because well, it, it's it not is... cigarette smoke, it's fire smoke. Something, something that I should explain here is Cameron's family doesn't believe in gas leaks. No. They just don't believe in them. So Gas when... is either there or it's not. It's, it can't be leaking. Yeah. So like I I get that there's this instinctive attempt to explain a world yeah. that uh that seems beyond your comprehension because of course if you don't believe in a gas leak 
which is the term for when, say, there's a gas leak in the corner and the fire. Anyway, um, I, I'm I'm thankful for the eternal flame that is the second half of my house and that is slowly creeping and consuming the rest of the house and will eventually consume us all. My family first, and then hopefully the rest of the world in sort of a cleansing fire. Blessings upon the flame. That's what I'm thankful for. Speaking of which, Pastor, what are you thankful for? Oh, I'm thankful. I'm thank you for asking, Brother Doctor. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for Brother Cameron. I'm thankful for Sister Eater for joining us tonight. I'm thankful for ethanol, the brightest cure. We should all do ethanol enemas. Ethanol enemas are the way of the future. They'll cure all your ills. I'm thankful for those who plant seeds. For when you plant seeds, you're tithing to your church first. Just like Brother Dr. Kenneth Copeland always says, and this, of course, legally, I'm not making fun of Kenneth Copeland. Legally, not a mockery of Kenneth Copeland. But as he says, it's important to tithe first. And I think, wait a minute, what is that? There's a UFO landing on the lawn. Are aliens coming to join oh, us for this Thanksgiving dinner? Right, the hypotheticals. Yeah, I mean, this is... You, you kind of never really know what's going to happen. I did invite a few. How'd you invite them? Uh, I just use sort of like, uh, you know, SETI? Yeah. So I, I sort of have a key. I, I, I'm... I, I work like janitorial at like SETI headquarters. And so I sneak in and send little messages out. It's usually just sort of like cuss words. Like, I think it's funny to say like, like, like ass or whatever into it. Well, he wants their first words here to be yeah. profanities. I would love it to be like ass or like dildo or like, um, well, brother Cameron, they all have plates that they, they appear to have an ass and a dildo. Oh, oh, and a butt plug. This is perfect. Well, I mean, I, I mean, most of us are vegan here, so I don't know. I, I guess it would depend on how the butt is made. Because well, if it's I, the butt I, of a vegetable, that's fine. I and do, speaking do, of vegetables, I really need about a thousand calories worth of veggies. So can right? Do, I, can you want me to go in? try to get the next part of the meal? Yes. Okay. What's the? What do we have for the meal? Okay. Oh. So. Here it is in a so, burlap sack. Yeah, let me. Okay. But it's vegan, and it's a vegan bison leg. So, um. All right, I don't... Would you mind just holding still while I go for it? Okay. <laughs> it's not a. T- I'm not wearing it this time. I'm going to. Can I. Would you mind if I put it on the table first? Okay. Don't be rude, brother. Yeah, okay, Doctor, hold the food up for your guests. Just hold okay. up the vegan bison leg. Okay. And would one of you mind counting? All right. Three, two, one. Gobble. One, two, three. Oh, she's going straight for London's hand again. None of the bison leg is being consumed. I, I guess it's still technically vegan. Done. Did I finish it? What did I eat? I, what What to you made it done? Because I'm curious. Was it the time? That is the time. Okay. Uh, I guess. I guess in your, you know, in for your record, uh, the the bison like I I didn't say it out loud. It Why is my blood. mouth all bloody? Yeah, I. Why is my hand all bloody? Well, whatever. Um, it's. I'm going to get some of that ethanol for a brother doctor. God! God! May the ethanol grow <laughs> back his arm. May it fix the non judgment on the holes in his hand. Judgment on the tooth marks on his body. Wait. I'm sorry. This is all just getting into my head right now. What, did I eat your hand? Uh, did you black out for it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm I'm in such a meditative state. I'm like a Buddhist monk. Did I eat your hand? Okay. Yeah. Your your eyes did roll up where we could only really see the whites of your eyes. And you did yeah, float so... in the air. It was impressive. But why? But my question is, why didn't you stop me from eating your hand? I didn't want to be a rude host. You because the count that yeah, the count was going. I wasn't even a host, and it was still. You're hosting. Okay. I didn't want to be a rude guest. The food at that moment when you're holding it up, so you're the host of the food. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, just wanted to ask. Okay. 
Yeah, it was. It's it's a very it's a okay. very reasonable question, and a lo- my instincts should have kicked in somewhere okay. in there. One of the aliens is beckoning me outside. He's pointing no, to me. they'll do that. Yeah, he's they'll pointing do that. to me. He's holding what appears to be more moonshine. I'm gonna go outside. Yeah, you probably should. I uh, I will be right back. Okay, brother alien, come here. Yeah. I, I think, I guess maybe the aliens don't understand they need to come inside. They're sort of just standing still. Is no one else shocked that there's aliens here? You're saying it's shocking that the people I would invite would actually show up? Well, people. I mean, sure. Sorry, sorry. I guess that is sure. a little, sh- yeah, historically, that is a little shocking that the people I invite actually came, so. Yeah, I, hey, listen, I invited myself. So I'm out of the equation. That's very Well, you true. answered the ad. Yeah, you're, you're right? paying $1,000 to be here. And I paid $3,000 to... Yeah, you inve- that's an investment in the dinner. You'll see that, I mean, back double, Dr. London. Okay. Should we say what we're not thankful for? Do you want to... Well, Cameron, do you want to start us off? I am not thankful for Joey Chestnut, the hot dog eating record holder guy who keeps... I Look, okay. Every uh, everything out in the open. I'm not like a food competition guy, but obviously I'm a fan. Clearly, I mean, I'm an enthusiast. I'm a, I would, I'm, I'm what you would call maybe a groupie. Yes, for for food eating contest people. Yeah, there's a big, there's a lot of groupies. Any yeah. food? Tons, and I travel from state to state to state fair to state fair. Sometimes it's just in a guy's backyard because, you know, yeah, it's professional sport, but they don't have a venue every single time. Yeah, the Gobble Gobble contest is at the community pool down the street. Yeah. Is it at the pool or in the pool? How a hot dog eating contest got started is because security was approaching to kick everyone out of the pool and you had to eat as much food as you possibly can. And because so it, you brought to, them to, the pool. to keep with yeah. that tradition. Yeah, it's a lot of times it's in like a park that's, you know, after hours. It's like, or... yeah, it's like we're, we're getting kicked out, so you better eat it fast. And that actually gets um, the competitors more amped, which is cool. Okay. So you started up. Uh, so, so Lisa, this does, I should have asked earlier why you wanted to be a competitive food eater. It sounds like maybe the motivation is you want to be some sort of influencer with a, with a following. You know what it is? My ex-husband, um, Jerry. I can't wait to win one of these contests and go, Jerry wishes. <laughs> he wishes. Oh, he would be so jealous. Yeah. Because you know whoever he's with now is not eating that many calories in a single sitting. It's, it's purely, It's purely to be like, you know, revenge, revenge. It's be like, you wish you stayed with me. Yeah. Now I'm a food eating champ. You're working yeah. on your revenge body. I think everyone does that after a breakup. Was he into food eating? Like, did he, was this it, like something that you did together as a couple or is this new since the breakup? No, I thought an award would be cool. Would be cool. And um, I went through like, you know, what other co- there's diving there's gymnastics there's hockey Girl you know, scouts, eating sewing. eating seems like something that was very um everybody yeah. eats right. and i can just get good at it okay revenge body yeah brother doctor you have to I- invite me back in brother doctor there's an emergency with the aliens please brother doctor you have oh, to invite me I back inside okay Someone inside has to invite Bert, me back inside. Come back inside. Can somebody let him in? Okay. Thank there. you. Thank you, Sister Eater. The aliens have brought 10,000 hot dogs, and if someone doesn't eat them in 10 minutes, they're going to blow up the earth. Oh, no. Who do we have around here? Who could possibly <sighs> okay. Eat that okay. I got it. That short amount oh, of time? Sister Eater. Oh, at least. Okay. No, I. Cause, okay. No, I, she, she could do it. Sure. I thought maybe. Oh, you were going to do well, it? No, no, that's it's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, perhaps, perhaps brother doctor can hold the hot dogs, and sister yes. eater can can then eat them. Would you be a doll? Would yeah, you? Uh, yeah. I, 
for the good of all you. earth i would love to brother doctor let me let me grab this plate of ten thousand hot dogs <laughs> okay. go ahead and grab that um, yeah no i <laughs> wow you're very weak that wasn't they're not that yeah heavy. no it's i get hot the... dogs. i'm, t- I'm, t- I'm just still. shaking under Hold okay still. How long do I have, Dr. Reverend? You have Glenn? ten minutes, but what? I think you're good enough, Sister Eater, that you you won't even take the whole ten. <laughs> oh, oh, no. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, gobble. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that's my leg. Yeah, this is just just going straight. I think the Earth is about to be the aliens are, are giving a uh, maybe a big thumbs up. I can see a, a a big a big thumbs up from the aliens. They say to keep on going. Okay, yeah, they seem to be well, having a good time. Okay, I guess this worked out. We probably shouldn't have put yeah all of our or all of humanity's eggs okay, in one um, basket. Uh, so, uh, ten ten minutes. Can we? It's been ten minutes. Can we? <laughs> 959 59 seconds oh and she's finished okay under the time wow. all of the aliens are, are leaving oh. and waving I goodbye wish that their advanced happy. technology could be used on these limbs of mine but i guess next time oh well they they took the asses and dildos okay i mean that's They're fine like, i guess I didn't sister expect eater just saved the planet did I just <sighs> save the planet? Just save the planet. Thank you. Can I get you on record saying that, and so I can send this to Jerry? Of course you can. Jerry, judgment upon Jerry, blessings upon Sister Eater, who ate so good she saved the world and everything in it. I can't believe this is happening. Like this is actually better than. Thank you. We we get contest. that every single year, and it never gets old. That's Thanksgiving. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna pour some more ethanol oh, on the it's, on Brother okay. Doctor's body. Oh, May the ethanol oh, cause cause a refilling oh, of tissue. Okay. Blessings Did upon I the ethanol. That? Did I eat your leg this it, time? It seemed like you were going after the the structural weakness at, at a certain point. Like you saw. I'm so sorry. I, thank you. It was it was almost like you were trying to get to the bone as official, efficiently as possible. Is you know what? Right? You know what it must be. I miss eating meat. I picked up on I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I've been, I'm a vegan. Well, so maybe it's just instinct. How long have you been a vegan? 34 years. Wow. Oh, okay. So yeah, I guess you, that makes sense that you would miss it. <laughs> yeah. Because it's been that. so long. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, wow. What mm-hmm. a dinner. Well, Worth the thousand dollars. I guess before Amen. we, um, you know. Adjourn to the. <laughs> there it goes. I'm so sorry. I just had to throw up. No, that's why the bucket's there. Uh, okay. Um, before we, you know, uh, adjourn to to try to be bodily repaired. Um, does anyone have any? Do you, any of you guys fans of things you want to promote? Um, any you want to give shout outs? Uh, anyone at all? Uh, <laughs> Pastor, would you like to? <laughs> yes, thank you, Brother Doctor. I'm a huge fan, as you know, of live talk shows that stream on Twitch. Huge fan of Twitch. <laughs> Judgment upon Jeff, Jeff B's host, but blessings upon those who use his systems for good. Blessings upon WizWorld Live, Earth's most magical talk show, Fridays 8 Pacific at twitch.tv slash WizWorld Live. Instagram WizWorld Live at a renaissance fair near you come the spring. Once the Ren Fairs are back in action, you can see WizWorld Live Live all around you. Remember, WizWorld Live, they have a shop, they have merch, they have shows all the time. Enjoy them. Blessing. Oh, gotta check them out. Lisa, do you have anyone that uh, you, you, you want to mention? You know, the show I love is Love Island. And I don't know if any of you have seen it, but I really recommend it. Oh, wow. Um, I think one of the contestants on there, I don't know if it's her or what, um, but there's an Instagram, Chase O'Donnell. Um, okay. And I know that she likes Love Island, too. It's just Chase um, O'Donnell, is it? Oh, it's Chase underscore O'Donnell. Okay. Good to know. But really, if it's that, it's between Chase O'Donnell and Love Island. I really recommend checking out Love Island. <laughs> wow. That's and you fair. get like 50 episodes a season, so it just sort of never ends. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Okay. And then um, 
And does 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 Chase that 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 Chase person also have a TikTok that's different handle? Yeah, it's so crazy. It's it's Chase underscore Elaine, which it's not the porn star. There's a porn star <laughs> named oh. Chase Elaine. Okay, and you're sure that I just you're found sure. out about. You're positive. You're positive. <laughs> Well, the porn star is Chase Elaine. Oh, okay. It's spelled. And this girl's Chase Elaine. Oh. And it's really confusing. Mm. It's really no good. She didn't know that's that she was using a porn star's name yeah. when she it's, started the We've TikTok. all been there, though. We've all <laughs> yeah, had this it's issue. It's a bummer. Yeah. It's a bummer and it's confusing, but <laughs> it's fun. It's fun on there. Well, and you don't okay. want to look up the Dr. London porn star. It. Yeah. He is not really a doctor. He's not, I really would question his credentials. He's, I mean, I'm not sure that he's not. It just seemed like his, his appointment got interrupted a lot of times. His, his appointment did get interrupted quite a bit. I say his appointment. Uh, he's, uh, I, I've been watching his, his web series to, trying to learn from him. But like, it seems like he's, he really starts out right. But then the, the patients Yeah, are they're like, crazy. Yeah. Like and do they go, did I do that? <laughs> Is that what those millennials do? Yeah. That's, so. that's what threw me off. This, <laughs> this, this, this porn star, Dr. London, he, he keeps, his patients always say, did I do that? And I, I'm thinking, like, stay on topic, man. But um, Yeah. Like, just answer, because he asks them a question, and then they answer with a question, and that's not very helpful for a patient yeah. interview. You're trying to learn their history and... Medical information, their family history. Uh, um, classic. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, thank you to our producer Cameron. Thank you to uh, Lisa. Thank you to uh, the pastor G- G- Gavetti Garibaldi. Amen. My name is Dr. Lennon Smith. Com, and this has been the Jock Doc Podcast. See ya. Wow, Grandpa! What a story! What? What happens next? Well, like I see it, there was. You know, 30 days ago, so I can open up your Christmas presents. And and that's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>